Hey there ghouls and creeps, I'm Britt and welcome to my channel where we do spooky DIY home and lifestyle content all year long. Today we're going to be replicating a set of Batwing art canvases from the Grandin Road Halloween collection for a fraction of the cost. Let's get started. <laughs> While looking at the Grand Inn Road Halloween collection, one piece that stuck out to me were these Batwing art canvases priced at $259. I'm always on the lookout for dark aesthetic decor and these canvases are absolutely perfect with exception to the price. But we're in luck because I think these should be easy to make on our own, so let's do that. I started by cleaning my panels off with a surface cleaner just to get all the dust and dirt off before spray painting. One thing that I would like to address is I realized the original Grand Inn Road canvases had dimensions of 20 inches by 30 inches each, which I'm sure contributes to the larger price point. My wood panels are 11 inches by 18 inches and were a free option as a painting surface, but I'll be sure to include the price of canvases in the 20 by 30 inch size when doing my cost comparison. I was able to get good coverage with just two coats. I'll include a link for the spray paint I used in the materials list in the description. Today is a snow day in Portland, Oregon, which means I get another day this week to work on this project, which is fantastic. The panels that we painted are dry, which is great. And the print that we painted over is not visible as far as I can tell, which is also great. Uh, I used a Rust-Oleum paint primer combo in a flat white, in case you're interested in purchasing the same spray paint that I used. I also printed out two different scales of a real bat wing to be able to like tape these together, try out the different sizes in relation to the panels, and apply graphite to the back side and use these as stencils to be able to transfer the bat wing. And then we can get into painting. I decided to go with the larger size because aesthetically I thought it looked better, having a little more of the panel surface area being occupied by the wing, almost making the distribution of light and dark more balanced like the original piece. Using tracing paper I traced out the right wing. I figured doing this would be easier to see rather than flipping the left wing over and trying to see through the paper while I traced. I then applied graphite to the left wing's reverse side on all the areas and details I wanted to transfer to the wood panel. I also cut the folded over paper so that I didn't have to press harder in this area to transfer the graphite. After taping my template in place, making sure the distance from the top was the same from the bottom, I traced my outline using my pencil. Thank you. 
For the right wing, I was able to use the tracing as my transfer graphite because my outline ended up being on the underneath side of my tracing paper. Welcome to a new day. I went a little bit rogue yesterday and started adding and trying to blend like black paint with the brown paint, which wasn't super effective. I think partially due to skill, sure, but also because of how cheap this acrylic paint is. Like I was noticing that with applying more water to try to blend the brown and the black, like it just started getting muddier and muddier and creating like an uneven coating, which is fine. I wanted it to have like more brush strokes in it, but it's also like if you wanted that even coverage, it definitely isn't the best, which you can see really well here. I think my plan for today is to try different paint, see if I can push the brown a little bit more so this doesn't look so flat. We'll see how well the other paint works. I was a little concerned and discouraged by what I had to show by the end of day one for this project, but then I remembered that this is part of the making process. Things don't always go according to plan, and I like having to come up with creative solutions to get a project at least close to my expectations. A wise person once said that it's not all about the destination, but the journey, and I think this is true about creative work. I switched over to a combination of folk art, Americana, and Martha Stewart paints, basically leftover paint from previous projects, and these had much better coverage and opacity. Instead of purchasing a sponge, I tried using a dry paper towel to get that sponge texture for the background, and I think it worked out. Initially I went too dark with the background color, so I resorted to dripping the white paint onto the painting surface to lighten the color and reduce paint waste.
In the beginning, I was a little worried with how this project was going to turn out with using the cheap acrylic paint, but in the end, I think it worked out. Absolutely love these bat wing panels as another dark aesthetic piece to add to my decor. My hope is that when you're looking at pricey decor that you don't want to spend the money on, that instead you'll consider alternative DIY options to create it for yourself. Thank you for taking the time to visit my creepy craft corner of the internet. I really do appreciate you taking the time to like, subscribe, and comment below. Please let me know in the comments what you think about this project and how you think it turned out. Now without further ado, let's get to the grand reveal.